Okay, we have Toshani here. Hello, Toshani and Dia also. Dia, Toshani, be ready with round plate from kitchen. Okay, uh, now all of you must be keeping one or two plates next to you. Toshani, that's way too big. Does that fit into your page? Will that fit in, inside your page? Do you have enough space, two two finger space? At least two two finger space to the side after you place your plate. Do you have enough space? Okay, after you place your plate, everybody check if you have two two or three three finger space at least. Do you all have that much space? If yes, then the size of your plate or the bowl is perfect. Even if you have little more space, that is fine. But you should not have less space. Okay, because we need this and this part for drawing. So we need that space. Okay, everybody check like that. Okay, once you check that, you place your plate, leave three finger space from bottom of your page. And then in the center of your page, you place this plate and trace a complete circle. Trace a complete circle. From base of your page, you have left with three finger space. Okay, with your pencil, trace this circle. Okay, this is my plate. I have traced it after leaving three finger space. And to both left and to the right side, I have again three three finger space, which is necessary. Samira finished? Yes. Samira, I like your hairstyle today. It's so cute. Yes, Rutvika also finished. Good job, Rutvika. Toshani, did you get plate? Did you trace that? Yes, Rutvi also. Very nice, Rutvi. Vishala, your screen is getting stuck for me. I'm not able to see. Ayansh, Riyansh, Diya, Avantika, did you both finish or no? Diya, Avantika. On your cameras, Diya, Avantika. Yes, Ayansh, well done. Nice. Okay, now, um, do you know that, fav uh, that famous poem, I'm a little teapot? All of you know that poem? So that is what today's artwork subject is. This is a little teapot. We are going to convert this circle into a beautiful looking teapot. Okay, so are you all ready? Or next steps? If yes, give me a quick thumbs up. Who's ready to convert this into a beautiful teapot? Vishala ready? Shriyansh, are you ready? Samira ready? Toshani, Ayansh, Rutvika. Okay, good. Rajasi, you go to the kitchen, bring one round plate. And first step is to trace perfect circle. Also, Diya, did you finish with your circle work? Avantika, Diya, both of you? Not yet? Not yet finished. Okay, trace this circle. You need to leave three finger space at the base, three finger space to the side, three finger space to the side. Now all of you get your scale, get your scale. See, on top, you have to convert little part of your circle into a lid of your teapot. See, just mark little line after leaving maybe three finger space from your circle you can mark a line which is going to divide your teapot with a lid and the base of your teapot you can leave three finger space place your scale mark one horizontal line which will divide your teapot into lid and the base of your teapot now what does teapot have to one side it has a handle and to the other side, what does it have? Anyone? A spout, yes. For tea to come out, it has a small opening, right? So are you all ready for next step then? Who's ready, Rajasi, are you ready? Yes, use this plate, Rajasi. Leave three finger space from base of your page and then you mark this circle. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm a little teapot, short and stout. This is my handle and this is my spout. So we are going to add two things now. Ready? To the other side, this side, where you have this line, here you add one semicircle. Use your hand only. C for cat. You have to add C for cat. Now see how much ever space you have. You adjust that space. Okay. You have three finger space this side. So we are adding a handle here. See. Correct. Rather see nice. Let's add a handle. Vedika. Yes, Vedika. Add handle. You can add small one. If you have less space, add a small one. Correct. And from inside, you just double line it so that we will be able to color it. See, we will be able to color this. So our handle is ready, lid is ready. On top of this lid, we will add one circle so that you can open this lid this way. Holding this circle, you can open it. Okay, so you have beautiful circle with lid and with the base of the pot, you have handle. And now we have to add a spout. Rather see, very good job. So nice. Samira, are you able to follow me? Yes, okay. Very nice. Samira, you can add slightly bigger handle. You have so much space, see? Add a little bigger handle, will look nice. Avantika, did you finish till here? Show me what you've done so far. Rutvika, very nice. Good job. Yes, okay. Continue with your work. Avantika, you're doing good. Toshani also, very nice. Toshani, Toshani, is it cold in your city? Are you feeling cold? Yes. Vedika finished or no? Ayansh, Samira, Shriyansh, Rutvi, did you finish? Vishala. Very good, Samira. Rutvi, show. And Vishala show. Very good. Vishala, Ruthvi, Shriyansh also. And Vedika also. Good job, Vedika. Okay. Now I'll shift my camera a little up. See, from here, you have to add one small curve line going out. We are adding a spout now. Okay. So leave little space from your lid. Maybe one finger space you can leave. And you add one small curve line going outwards. Okay, watch every step carefully. Then you add one small curve again. See like this small curve again, like this. Small curve. Yes, and from the small curve, Go down, down, down and add a spout where your tea is going to come out. How many of you have tea sets with you? Do you play with tea sets? Do you have small tea sets at home? Ruthvi has. And Samira also. It is your favorite game, isn't it? When you are a child, tea set is your favorite game. You invite your friends for tea over, right? Whenever you're playing house, house. You make tea, you offer tea. So that is what it is. Small teapot. Okay, as you can see, this line goes slightly in. Can you all see? Little in. This line goes, turns in, and then it comes out and connects at the base. See, there is a slight curve over here. Observe this curve. It goes little in. And then comes out and turns down. Okay, this way, see. Observe this carefully. I'm going to quickly repeat steps. First, you're marking big, big, big circle. Okay, then you're dividing this into lid and pot. You're adding one small circle on top, handle. And finally, you're adding 
a spout see ruthvi is showing me her tea set very nice ruthvi shri anch well done nice okay now here we have to add base so add two slant lines down two slant lines down and you simply connect it with a scale so that you get base for your pot you are going to get base for your pot two slant lines and one straight line which is going to give beautiful base to your pot okay see this line rajasi it turns in and comes out see like this i will show you this handle line again everybody look see it goes out okay then you have a small opening this line is going to turn in see like this turn it in erase this those who are not getting it okay turn this line little in it goes in see it turns in first it turns in and then slowly it comes out like a fat tummy motu motu tummy like this so it should look something like this okay everybody look this line turns in something like alphabet s s for snake isn't it it looks like s first it turns in and then it comes out that will give you perfect spout got it rajasi now yes okay perfect we are going to double line this see very good toshani so beautiful let's double line you mark one more line inside your lid now inside your lid double line let's double line vishala it's looking very very good so good ayansh did you finish till here or no yes yes rajasi bring this line down 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 see how much down almost still end almost still end see from here bring this line down down ruthvi it's looking very beautiful so nice okay now let's add beautiful design on the spot are you all ready to add beautiful design on the spot who's ready diya show me what you have done so far diya avantika both of you show me your papers diya can you remove your background yes diya see from here again line turns in and then comes out okay observe this line turns in little bit and then comes out diya samira are you dancing no ayansh did you finish flash your artwork those who have completed show me your artwork vedika toshani ruthvi ruthvika vishala everybody hold your papers up shriyansh yes samira this is good ruthvi this is very nice vedika yes okay good and samira show ruthvika also good sra yes good job samira also and vishala also vishala hold it closer please toshani show me your work ayansh and shriyansh both of you okay now see i'm going to teach you beautiful flower all of you know how to mark plus sign okay plus 1 plus 1 2 so you have to mark plus sign using your scale we are drawing a beautiful flower here 1 plus 1 plus sign okay use your scale you can use your scale to mark plus sign in the center of your pot we are drawing beautiful design and that too we are drawing a beautiful flower perfect flower perfect looking flower 1 plus 1 2 plus mark rajasi yes good rajasi you got the spout correct now very good perfect rajasi 
Now, all of you know how to mark X, right? X, let's mark X. How do you mark X? Slant line, you like this slant line. And one more slant line will give you perfect X. So you have plus sign and then you also have X sign. Okay, see, you have plus mark and then you also have X mark, which is going to give you this kind of wheel structure. It looks like a round round wheel of your cycle, isn't it? Yes, correct. It will look like a round round wheel to your cycle, correct, Rajasi? Ruthvi, did you finish? Plus an X mark? Yes, good. And Shriyansh, did you finish? Samira? Looks like Samira is singing today. Samira is in a very happy mood today. Happily singing, smiling, sometimes dancing. So Shani, everybody finished till here? Okay. Now see. Connect this with a curve. Connect this with a curve. Avantika, do you have both of you have got this? How to do this flower? Plus sign and alphabet X. Plus and X. Look, Dia. Plus and X. This is what you have to do in the center of your page. Okay, you've got it now. Plus and X. Okay, and then you just connect all curves. What you're going to get here is a big, fat, beautiful flower. See? What do you have in the center? A beautiful looking flower. Connect all curves together. Yes, Rajasi, so nice, see? You've got a beautiful flower. Yes, Samira also got nice flower. Samira, well done. See, drawing perfect flower is so easy. Ruthvi also got one beautiful flower. Very nice, Ruthvi. And Avantika also. Very, very good, Avantika. Fantastic. Shriyanch also. Beautiful. Ayansh, did you get this flower? Vedika, Rajasi, Toshani. Yes, okay. All of you have got this flower. Vishala, how about you? You've got this flower, Vishala? Yes, nice. Now to this flower, you add one stem out. And to the stem, you add small, small leaves like this, see, one, two, and three. Okay, again, I'm going to show you. To the other side, see, add one stem, add one stem, to the stem, first you add one leaf, like this, like almond shape. To the opposite side, you add one more, Okay, now make sure draw these leaves slightly big. Okay, draw these leaves little big so that you will be able to color it inside. So that you can color it inside. And in between these two, in the center, you add one more. See how nice. You have got leaves to both sides of your pot. Okay, again, I'm going to show you once more. Okay, add one stem, one leaf to the opposite side, you can add one more. And in the center, you add one more, three leaves like this. Three leaves to your 
ब्यूटिफुल लुकिंग फ्लावर वेरी नाइस ओके इफ यू हैव स्पेस हियर वी विल रिपीट इट हियर ऑल्सो वी ऑल हैव इनफ स्पेस टू रिपीट दीज लीव्स फोर टाइम्स वी हैव दैट मच स्पेस केप्ट okay and one more last time here also we have space so we will repeat here also so you must be thinking teacher how many leaves we are adding but it will look very beautiful when you add more leaves your artwork looks very very beautiful okay so in the center you have flower and then you have leaves i'm going to show you leaves once more see look here when you add a stem like this right you add one leaf here one leaf to the opposite side like this with two two curves curve lines and in the center you add one more this is how without leaving any gaps in between you add three leaves set of three leaves how many of you want me to show again do you want me to show it show this to you again if yes raise your hands okay look here it is a stem that looks like this okay towards the end of your stem you add leaf number 1 see like this then you have leaf number 2 like this make sure leaves are big little bit big and in between these two you add one more and then you get beautiful set of leaves very very nice toshani beautiful work so nice lovely rajasi also very good now on top of this pot we will just add two curves this is the only design that we have it on lid two curves that's it rutvika very nice super very very nice and vedika also good job vedika can you increase size of your leaves little bit more make your leaves little bit more fat you have so much space see so much space you have so make your leaves little more fat or vedika this is samira very nice samira good job and now our teapot is kept on the table so we will just mark one table line behind you have to mark it below your handle okay so this is table where you have kept this beautiful tea pot so you just mark one horizontal line should be below your handle okay now usually what do you put in into this tea pot maybe you put um hot tea you put hot coffee or hot milk hot chocolate milk anything is okay right anything that will remain hot you just put it into this tea pot okay now we will add we can add maybe one fruit or one or two fruits kept here Okay, so you just mark one circle here next to your tea pot. See, mark one ball here. You can go into the line of table, no problem. See, we are going to show one or two fruits kept here just to decorate our table more. So add one big circle. You can use your hand. Go round, round. Make one big circle, and you can go into this table line. Later, you erase this. table line so that your fruit comes in the front this is one fruit okay which has a smile and a stem what does it look like apple okay from down we will just erase this much part and make a small wave so that it looks like an apple Okay, so you have apple. How many of you like apple in the class? Who likes apple? Everybody is raising hand. Good. 
Raja, see your apple is so 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 small. Make it big. See how big my apple is. How big it is. Otherwise, it will look like lemon. Very good, Toshani. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to repeat apple once more. Let's repeat this apple once more. See those who have not got how to draw apple. Draw big ball. Very very big. I will tell you how big it is. For me, this is about. Five centimeters big. Check it on your scale. If it is five centimeters big or no. We are making two apples here. Height of your apple should be five centimeters or little close to that. Then you erase this line. We don't want this table line, right? So you erase that. Then you add a smile. on top and the smile has one stem coming out right and then here at the base you erase little part very very little part and then you make a small curve and it starts looking like perfect perfect apple yes rajasi see this apple is perfect this apple is small make it big both apples in the same size rajasi you can also add one or two leaves to your apple okay you can add one or two leaves like this to your apple just make it natural if any line is entering into leaf you can erase that line okay see this is what we have done so far right your beautiful teapot with two apples so you have beautiful nice tea you have hot hot tea and then you eat apples very good rajasi now those who have completed till here you are free to outline your work okay you can start outlining so i'm going to put one paper down and start with my borders very good toshani fantastic ruthvi very very good job no corrections vishala finished with apples Did you add apples, Vishala? Dia, did you add apples? Yes. Okay. And Avantika, how about you? Did you add apples? Okay. So all of you border it now nicely. If you need to retrace this plate, you can place this plate again at the right place. adjust this plate and then border it with your marker or you can use your hand also let us border this beautiful flower everything you have to border okay and then we will color this very very beautifully children today's artwork is also under a subject that is called as still life okay so whenever you draw any object it is under a subject called as still s t i l l still life l i f e life okay so what we are learning today is a subject called as still life also be slow when you are outlining so now our table will start looking like a breakfast table so whenever next time you want to draw any toy you can draw your tea set easily also you can if you have any dolls at home you can just place your dolls in front of you 
and try and copy your dolls. Any toys that you have at home, you just place it in front of you and you try and copy how the shape looks like, how is your doll's hair. Okay, it's a good activity and a beautiful practice that you can do it, do it at home. If you are a boy, you can place your toys like cars or anything that you have. And then you start imitating, you start copying that toy. So it's a very, very good exercise. Whenever you have free time, you can try this exercise at home. Place it in front of you and try and copy. Okay, after you finish borders, erase pencil marks, clean your page. Okay, also we have garam garam chai inside. So what you will see, some sort of steam coming out, hai na? So you can just add some baby lines coming out of this spout so that it looks like steam coming out of your pot. Okay, how many of you observe the steam coming out of your milk, glass of milk? Do you all observe? Aise, 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 upar jati hai. Like a steam goes up like that, like that with a wavy line. Samira observes that. <laughs> Toshani also. Toshani is drinking milk right now, I think. So Toshani observe if you have steam coming out. Or if it is water, you can't observe. If it is plain water, I don't know what you're drinking. I'm assuming that you're drinking milk, but it could be water also. <laughs> Toshani is drinking water. But if you're uh, drinking hot water, you will see steam. Anything hot that you drink, you will see steam coming out. Okay, I'll show you one more subject that I've done recently. This is all watercolor work. See, I've done beautiful cakes. This is also still life. Okay, what we have done right now is still life. Any object that you draw, will come under still life. So I've done these beautiful cakes. How many of you would like to eat this? Everybody, but it's not real. You can't eat it. Okay, so this is strawberry, cherry, and beautiful pastries with nice cream on top. Looks yummy. And similarly, we are also trying at your level to draw this beautiful teapot and still life subject only. Avantika, finished or no? Show what you've done, Avantika. Wow, very, very nice. Avantika, increase size of your apples, little bit bigger apples. They look like lemon, like chotu. They look chotu. Make it big. Okay, remember in your head, lemon is so small. Apple is bigger than lemon, isn't it? You have seen both the things. Apple is small. Uh, sorry, uh, lemon is small, apple is big. So you have to see, does it look like apple or does it look like lemon? If it is too small, it will look like a small fruit. Ayansh, did you finish or no? Rutvika, very nice. Erase pencil marks. It's looking wonderful, Rutvika. So beautiful. Also, Ruthvi, very, very nice. Ruthvi, erase pencil marks, clean your page, be ready with water bowl and brush pens or oil pastels, whatever you have. Very nice. Shriyanj, beautiful. Okay, so first color that we are going to take today is Cerulean Blue 071 from your oil pastels. Okay, first color is going to be Cerulean Blue. If you're still outlining, finish your outlines, clean your page, and then you take Cerulean Blue 071. I'm going to type 
numbers over here. Okay, let's see. Zero seven one is your first color. Any dark blue color or medium blue color? Hmm? Now slowly you start coloring this base of the pot in blue color like this. Cerulean blue. You're not going to color into flowers, and you're not going to color into <coughs> leaves. Also, you start from left side of your page, just the way I'm starting. Okay, you have to start from left side because our full pot is not in blue. Only half of our pot is in blue color. So start from where I'm starting, from top to slowly. Go towards the right side of your page. Okay, on the half from the left side. So you start coloring. Even if you have colored little bit over here, it doesn't matter. Take your time. We will take care of that. Okay. Even if you have colored little bit this side, that is okay. But if you have added too much color, then stop working. Add it to the left side of your pot. Cerulean blue zero seven one. Yes, Vedika, you can go. Okay, do not color into leaves and do not color into your flower. Also be slow when you are coloring. Don't color into flower, then you can't take off that color. Okay, approximately half of your pot is in cerulean blue color. Now with the same blue color, you decrease pressure on your crayon. Apply less pressure and color this part with less pressure on your crayon. See, little patch with the same color, but you apply less pressure on your crayon. It will look like this. See, it is the same color, but you don't press. Use very very less pressure. Here also, it is the same thing. Half of your circle in cerulean blue and half of it with light pressure on the crayon. <clears throat> so full pressure, light pressure. That is what we are using. I'm using cerulean blue or dark blue color. 071 is what I'm using. Okay, now you take your light blue color and you start topping it on top light blue 239 you start coloring on top of this entire patch okay this is light blue color shade number 239 So what we are doing, taking two, two colors, light blue and dark blue, and then we are coloring rest of our pot also in light blue color only. See, it will look like this, how pretty light blue and dark blue on top also you have this circle so it is dark blue and light blue check all corners press your crayon now full so that you get bright and beautiful color check if you are leaving any corners anywhere if you're leaving any corners stop it up okay 
okay so it is cerulean blue and light blue shade number 239 combination of both colors Be slow when you are coloring. Be slow, okay? <clears throat> okay this flower goes into pink color so you can take whichever pink shade you have and start coloring this flower into pink this time i'm taking a shade called as fluorescent pink shade number 136 so if you have fluorescent pink you use it if you don't have you can use any other pink color. Shade number 341 is also okay. 341 or 136, whichever shade you have. 341, which is normal pink color, or you can use 136, fluorescent pink. Okay. Also, you have this part of the teapot this is also in pink we will finish all pink pink work now let's finish pink color work normal pink or fluorescent pink Okay, wherever I'm applying pink, all of you can apply pink color there. Okay, handle is also in pink. So what we are doing, we are creating a combination here, blue and pink. Blue and pink pot. Okay, spout is also in pink. So first layer, all of you color with whichever pink you have. See like this, everything goes into pink, pink, pink. Be slow, okay? When you are coloring, be slow. First finish dark blue, light blue. Then you move to pink color. Wow, Ruthvi, it's looking how beautiful. So, so, so nice. Rajasi finished. Very, very nice. Shriyansh, beautiful work. Now take red color. Okay, and then wherever I'm applying red, you can also apply red there. Normal red color. Okay, little bit at the spout. Okay, little bit to the left side of your pot. Okay, top it up with red color, half of your pot. From this side, red color. This is also half of your space in red color. And half of your handle also in red color. So what we are doing, we are adding one more color for shading. See how beautiful this is looking. Like this, one more color for shading, which is red. Inner part of your flower is also red. So first you have to finish pink, and then you have to add red. See like this. You can create one circle with red color. 
slow slow work okay observe colors and then you can work at your own speed no need to rush take your time all of you can take your time just be slow first use pink color 341 then you take primary red 350 and then you color half of the spot half of this shape center of the flower half of the spout and half of the hand in red very very nice riyansh excellent good 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 job <laughs> now we will take light green and we will color all leaves in light green color all these leaves are going to be in beautiful light green color shade number 240 you can take out that crayon and keep it out shade number 240 light green color look at the size of my light green how much chotu it has become <laughs> how much small but i'm still coloring with it because this is the last piece of light green that is left with me and i have to go in the shop and buy new but i'm not getting time to go to the shop and buy so i'm using this small one okay we have leaves to our apple also so we will color apple leaves in same green color shade number 240 light green is what we have used okay now time to color our apples so you can take orange and you color it this way one crescent moon and center of your orange in uh, center of your apples in orange a uh, pink shade is 341 normal pink color or if you have fluorescent pink you can also use fluorescent pink which is 136 130 6 okay 341 or you can use 136 this is normal orange color 283 orange color you have to color your apple with a crescent moon shape half moon and center of your apple in orange okay like this because here also we are doing shading that's why you have to color it in this way apple will also have shading orange plus red color orange plus red color for your apple so little little orange and to the sides of your apple it is primary red 350 okay we will try and use two two colors so that your artwork is going to look nice if you use just a single shade like full apple in red it doesn't look that great but when you use two two shades like orange red light green dark green red pink light blue dark blue your artwork starts looking really beautiful see okay center you don't forget to leave this half moon shape because we need our apple to shine okay this is a shine and then with your finger you can mix red and orange you can mix these two colors with your finger see how real this apple looks so real and so beautiful don't forget to mix colors vedika do you need color numbers shall i repeat it for you okay so this is pink color 136 if you have fluorescent pink you can use fluorescent pink or if you have normal pink 341 you can use that okay then you have to use red on top do you see this dark tone this is red this is also red 
here also little patch of red center of your flower red and half of the handle in red so first you apply pink and on top of pink you have to apply red color okay start then here in the apple we have used orange and then red see how beautiful this is looking how do you like the students is it looking nice beautiful bright beautiful wow toshani fantastic even you her crayon is small yes i know okay now we will have to use water colors okay after this step for background and table we will simply use water colors before that before that you create little design here with your marker okay before we finish our background color you create this type of line work see just straight straight lines here and lines going in the curve manner here okay because there is no color here but there is little design here and this design is nothing but line work small small lines you can use your sketch pen directly here you can use your marker and here also see straight straight lines directly use your marker so that this part is not empty it has beautiful design wow shriyansh very 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 beautiful work very nice lovely toshani also beautiful toshani how nice and rutvi also beautiful work rutvi super okay i am going to get water bowl give me just one minute okay any guesses oh toshani you have done doremon nice do you like doremon toshani doremon doremon yes so over here first color is yellow color for background see we have not used yellow anywhere here so we are going to use yellow which is also one light color so take your first lemon yellow color and start coloring this entire wall till you reach table in yellow color see straight straight lines like this and you complete your top part of the background which is a wall in yellow yellow color wall even if you're still coloring your apples or something that's okay take your time first finish that step then you move to next step as i keep on saying that we will have different working speed everybody has different working speed you just have to stick to your speed just because teacher is showing you steps fast you don't have to color fast inner part of your handle that is a background color because it is a hollow or see through kind of handle okay don't forget you have to color here everybody look here inner part of the handle is in yellow do not forget okay you take slightly fat brush see because we have this is large area and you have to finish this in no time so you take fat brush and you finish this in no time
be slow okay be slow when you are coloring and the vertical line stroke is what we are using which means my brush is moving into vertical vertical lines use less water in your cake color so that color is going to look bright and beautiful do not use much water when you are coloring so that your yellow color will appear bright we want brightness in the color if you don't have watercolor cakes you can use any yellow color for your background whichever yellow you have you can take lemon yellow medium yellow if you are using oil pastels see how beautiful and bright this is looking check all corners and now this is wooden table so which color shall we use for wooden table show me color crayon if you have any color next to you since it's a wooden table which color is apt which color is suitable yes correct shriyansh it is brown samira also yes brown color that's right so first finish wall in yellow and then we will color this table into brown color don't be in rush finish this completely apply one stroke which is vertical line or standing line stroke work in small small patches do not add much water to your cake otherwise it will dilute your color all brightness is lost that way okay so our breakfast table is getting ready with teapot and apples ayansh how is it going with you show me your work ayansh are you coloring slowly carefully yes ruthvi is coloring very very nice beautiful work ayansh lovely <coughs> ruthvi is uh, ruthvika is also coloring ruthvi is also coloring both of them are coloring <coughs> avantika diya how is it going with both of you are you both coloring slowly carefully can you hear me avantika diya okay slow work okay maintain one stroke from top to bottom be slow okay after this i will take brown color so whichever darkest brown you have you can take which ever darkest brown color cake for example i have this darkest one the one which is next to gray so i'm going to take this darkest brown and i will start coloring this table in brown color Okay, you can change your brush to a smaller size brush here, because here you have to work with small things like you have to work with apples. You have to color perfectly around it, so you can switch to thin brush over here. So depending on the space and the area you have to target or color, you have to change your brush accordingly. For large and big area where you don't have any objects in between, you can take big brush. for small areas you naturally have to shift to a thin brush so use darkest brown if you are using oil pastels you can choose shade number 101 dark brown color toshani how is it going going good slow coloring okay maintain one direction while coloring 
if you see white spaces if you are using oil pastels rub your finger vanish all white spaces Okay, now I'm taking black color, little bit black, okay? And just under these apples, because I want to create little shadow of these apples. So I'm going to apply a little bit of black over here. <clears throat> See? Once you finish your brown, only little bit of black, just under the apples to create shadow. There is little shadow of apples which you will be able to see on this table. Also, you can create one line of black under this pot. So pot and apples, both have little shadow. <clears throat> okay, little bit of black color you take and with your brush only, whatever brush you are taking, you just create little black line, <clears throat> which will look like nice shadow under the pot and under these two apples. And see how beautiful and how lovely work all of you have created. This is called as still life. Okay, this type of art is called as still life. Now, what does still life mean? See, look at this sketch pen. Is it moving on its own? No, unless and until you move it, it is still which means any object that is still, it cannot move on its own, will come under still life. Can pot move on its own? No. Can apples move on its own? No. Table? No. Wall? No. Look at this pencil will also come under still life. So any object will come under still life. Very nice. Shriyansh, beautiful. Lovely work. Super. Ruthvi, you are coloring it beautifully. So nice. All of you take your time, okay? Don't be in rush. Slow work. Vedika, how's it going? Diya and Avantika, how's it going with both of you? Ayansh, are you coloring? Slow work, okay, Ayansh. How do you like today's artwork subject, Ayansh? Is it nice? It's pretty, you know? Very, very beautiful and looks realistic <clears throat> because we have done so much of shading and this is basics of still life. As you progress more, I will teach you more and more subjects of still life. Samira, how is it going? Okay, let's stop recording for this class now. All of you, please share your artwork for display. Ayansh, you also show, share your artworks, your previous artworks also, Ayansh, okay? 